Every publication is distributed differently. For example, do you plan to print yours when it's done or send it electronically? Luckily, with Publisher 2010, you can do both. To get started, click File to go to the Backstage view. The first thing I recommend is running the Design Checker. This tool can help you find and fix any errors in your publication that might affect the final product. Just click the button, then refer to the results in the Design Checker window. Let's see, it looks like I have an object that's hanging partially off the page. But which object? To find out, click the error. Now I can see it's referring to the shape on page 1. It's a little too big for the print area. To fix the problem, I'm just going to resize the shape. And as soon as I'm done, the item gets checked off and removed from the list. Now I'm ready to adjust the print settings and preview my publication, so I'm going to return to the backstage view. If you're familiar with Publisher 2007, it might look like the print preview mode is missing. Not so. Just click Print and you'll find everything has been combined here. To get started, enter the number of copies you want. I've already printed a test copy, which is something I highly recommend, so I'm going to go ahead and print 20. Next, you have several different settings that you can change to suit your needs. Among these are two settings for advanced printing tasks, double-sided printing and collating. Double-sided printing allows you to print on both the front and back of each sheet of paper. To enable this setting, click Print One-Sided, then switch to print on both sides. You can flip the sheet on the long edge, like a book, or on the short edge, like a legal pad. Collating lets you assemble copies of your publication in the correct order, which can save you lots of time and effort. This setting should already be enabled. If not, click to open the menu, then choose Collated. Last but not least, choose the color settings for your publication by clicking here. To save color ink, we'll choose grayscale this time. See how the change is reflected in the preview pane? This is a great resource for double-checking your work before you hit print. Let's take a look at some of the things you can do with it. If your publication has more than one page, for example, it might be helpful to view multiple sheets at once. All you have to do is click the icon in the bottom right corner. My newsletter is double-sided, covering a total of two pages, so I'm going to choose two from the grid. To see which pages will be printed on the front of each sheet, Use the slider in the upper left corner. To view the other side of the sheet, switch between front and back in the bottom left. Don't worry, these numbers won't appear on the printed copy. There are still lots of other options in the preview pane, so take some time to experiment and see what works best for you. When you're happy with your settings, click the Print button in the upper left corner. Now, while my newsletter is printing, I'd like to show you how to publish electronically. To do this, click File to return to the Backstage view, then choose Save and Send. Here you can create a PDF, which can be attached to an email or uploaded to your website. You can also publish to an HTML file, which can be embedded inside an email. In my experience, PDF is the better choice because it presents your file exactly the way you designed it. However, PDFs aren't perfect. It's a good idea to publish a test copy to see if you're happy with the results. All you have to do is click Create PDF slash XPS document, then click the button on the right. Next, enter a file name and choose a location on your computer. Then click Publish to save. It may take a minute depending on the size of your file, but once the PDF has been created, it will open in a new window. Now you know several different ways to print your publication or distribute it electronically. 